you got busted. Jesus, guy, you look like shit, man. What happened? I don't know. I got fucking wasted last night, and uh, my phone says I texted someone at 3.15 asking them to beat me up, and then uh, at 4.30 I texted the same person saying thanks. And you don't remember it? No, same as last time. I mean, it just seems kind of gay, doesn't it? I don't know, maybe, yeah. Well, do you think you're part of some, like, gay beat-up underworld? Like one of those gay beat-up clubs or something? I know, I dig chicks, man. I don't remember any of it. I was so fucked up. I might be gay, I don't know. Hey, do you mind covering for me for a bit? I might go lay down in the john. Hey, you buddies, where is it hanging? Hey, Alex, what's up? Did you get in the club last night? Ah, I didn't get in because the bouncer was douche face. But I made friends in the line. Oh, well, that's good, I guess. Hey, guys, anybody know a nice restaurant, like something where they give up free bubble gum in the bathrooms? For what? Laura and I have been dating four years tomorrow. I want to take her someplace really nice. Oh, congratulations, John. You guys have been going out for four years. My longest relationship was like six months, and then she farted in her sleep. I'm like, I'm out of here, man. I was gone before she woke up. Wow, you're not very tolerant, huh? Lori ever fart in front of you? Yeah. Really? Yeah, many times. You Italian? No. Why? Never mind, take her to Benihana. John, look, don't you think after four years, maybe she's hoping for something more than dinner? Like what? I don't know, but if it were me, I'd be expecting a proposal. Oh, come on, nobody's expecting anybody to propose. I mean, marriage isn't, why, well, I, I mean, is it love enough? I mean, I submit that love is enough. You put the ring in her ass, let her fart it out. <laughs>